hurry up! I don't want anyone seeing us! Okay, okay, fine. Let's just leave it here then. Oh, what's that smell? It's gross. I think it's coming from the baby. Okay, that's disgusting. It's, it's so ugly! Yeah, it's really ugly. I'm glad we're gonna just leave it here. No one wants an ugly, smelly baby. Come on, let's go! Hey you! Uh, I forget your name. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Listen, you have work to do. Go make my bed and clean my room. It's filthy! My name's James, and why do I have to clean your room? Because I told you so! You also need to make dinner for the other kids! That's not a good reason. No! No way am I cleaning your room! And I don't know how to cook, so that's not happening either! You've been nothing but a pain in my back ever since the police found you and brought you here! It wasn't my fault! I was just a baby! You're an ugly, smelly baby! No one wanted you! I didn't even want you! This is ridiculous! You wanna know what's ridiculous? You have no family, no friends, and no money! You're just a sad, lonely, poor boy, and no one's gonna adopt you. Now that's ridiculous. You're wrong. I'm wrong? That's it. Go to your room, and don't come out. You're not getting any dinner either. What? Just get out of my face. This place is awful. That woman is seriously the meanest person in Roblox. I can't take it anymore. I have to get out of here. I'm just gonna run away. Tonight! Hey, kid. Kid? We're like the same age. Yeah, yeah, whatever. You lost or something? Um, yeah, I guess you could say that. I've never been to the city before. Yeah, you must be new. Never seen you on these streets before. Yeah, I kind of just ran away from home, and I'm not sure what to do next. Ha ha ha! Classic runaway, huh? You got a place to stay for the night? Hotel or apartment or something? No, I don't. I'm really super poor and don't have any money. Figure this much. No money, no problem. Come with me, kid. You can stay with me tonight. Wow, that's really kind of you. Thank you. Sorry I didn't have time to, you know, spruce up the place and stuff. I don't mind. It's bad, but it's not that bad. Plus, I'm in no position to be picky. Beggars can't be choosers, right? Right. Thanks again. Um... Name's Roger. Roger, I'm James, and thank you again for giving me a place to stay for the night. No problem. Us runaways need to look out for each other, you know? You ran away too? Oh yeah. I ran away a long time ago. Maybe like, uh, two, three weeks ago? My ma was trying to get me to do my homework and go to school and all that lame stuff. Oh wow, at least you had family though. What do you mean? I was orphaned when I was a baby. My parents just left me on the street one night. Wow, that's cold, man. Yeah, the police found me and dropped me off at the city orphanage. But the woman in charge there is really awful and mean. I just couldn't take it anymore, so I ran away. Sorry to hear that, man. Tell me, what's it like having a family? You serious? Yeah, I've never had a family. Well, it's not like it's all sunshine and rainbows, let me tell you. But uh, family doesn't matter when you're on these mean streets, kid. I think you and I should stick together. I can teach you a couple things. Really? Yeah, really. Listen. You said you were poor too, right? Yeah, like really poor. I don't even have a bank account. Okay, first lesson I'm gonna teach you how to get money in jailbreak, okay? That sounds great. Well, there it is. The first Robloxian bank of jailbreak. Oh, cool. So you're gonna show me how to open the bank account here or something? Uh, yeah, you could say something like that. Okay, let's go. Whoa, hold on there, Slim. We're not going to the bank to open an account. We're not? No, we're not. We're gonna break in and rob it. Oh, isn't robbing a bank illegal? Hey, listen to me, all right? Technically, it's like a little illegal, but I'm like, uh, you know, I'm like Robin Hood. Like steal from the rich and give to the poor. The poor in this situation is you and me. 
So we gotta go in there all quiet like and take everything out of the vault. Got it? I don't know. This doesn't seem right. Don't worry. I've been doing this for days now and haven't gotten caught yet. Now follow me and don't make a sound. Got it? Got it. Now that was some serious dough, man. Oh, that was a really good heist. You did well, Jimmy. You did real well. It's James, but okay. Listen, this big pile is for me, and uh, the smaller one is for you. Since I came up with the idea, I get the bigger cut. Just, uh, just how things go, you know? Yeah, cool. Well, well, what's wrong? Why, aren't you happy? You're not super poor anymore. You're just a uh, little poor. Stealing the money just doesn't feel right. You know what doesn't feel right? Having to run away from an orphanage because the lady there was so mean to you. That's not right. Yeah, I guess you have a point there. Just feel like I should work hard and earn my money, not rob a bank. You don't think we worked hard at stealing that money? We had to jump over lasers, blow up the vault, not to mention we had to escape too. You think we didn't work for this money? I don't know. Listen, you're thinking too much about this kind of stuff. You and me only have each other. We gotta stick together, right? Right. We're family now, James. That's all that matters. You and me? Family? Yeah, like, uh, brothers or something, you know? Look, you should go get some rest, kid. We have an even bigger day ahead of us tomorrow. Okay, what's happening tomorrow? We're gonna do the biggest robbery this town has ever seen before. can't be serious. Ho ho ho, I'm serious. Okay, so what's your plan now? Listen, the plan is simple, all right? You climb up on the roof, blow a hole in it with some dynamite that I left up there for you. Then uh, you jump down, take as many valuable things you can find, and then I'll let you out the back door. It's easy. Wait, you want me to blow up the roof of the museum and rob it while you just wait outside? Yeah. And then I'll let you out the back door. No. No? Yeah, I'm not doing this. Ho oh, ho ho, yes you are. No, I'm not. Committing crimes and being a criminal is not the right way to get rich. This is wrong. No, you're wrong. Man, you really are a loser, huh? You know what? Pff, forget you. I'll do this all myself. Whatever, more money for me anyway. Hey you, stop right there. Uh, uh-oh. Hands up! You're under arrest! Hey, inmate! You got a visitor! Oh, it's you, loser. Roger, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have let you rob that museum. No, you shouldn't have. Now I'm gonna be stuck in here for life. And the last thing I want to do is see your stupid poor face. Just leave me alone. You said he was your friend? At least I thought I was. Trust me, that guy's not your friend. He's a real jerk. And you seem like a good kid. Thanks. I try my best to be a good person every day because my life has been filled with mean people. We need guys like you on the force. What, what are you talking about? The police force, you ever thought about joining? I can't say the thought has crossed my mind before. Well, maybe you should think about it sometime. We're always looking to add some good and righteous people to our family here. Family? Yeah, the force is like one big family. Anyway, I've got to go make sure the broccoli smells extra funky for lunch today. Stay cool, kid, and I'm serious. You should join the police force. See you around. See ya. Wow, that guy was pretty cool. You know what? I think I'm gonna be a police officer. This is it, my first day as a police officer. Uh, James, is that you? Hey, Roger. What are you doing? 
Whoa, wait, wait, wait. Let me guess. You felt so guilty and lonely out there that you stole a uniform and now you're breaking me out of here, huh? Good plan. No, I'm a real police officer, Roger. I have an honest job with a real paycheck. I even got a hiring bonus, enough to buy a new car and a condo. Wow, what a sellout, man. I'm not a sellout. This is an honest and good job, Roger. You're a loser, and now you're a loser cop. You've been a loser ever since you were born. Your parents knew that, and that's why they left you on the streets. You're just upset that you're in prison, and I'm not. I'm free, and I'm making a lot of money without committing crimes. I actually get paid to stop them. You'll never be rich unless you break me out of here and we go rob the whole city blind, man. Come on, old buddy, old pal. Let's just, uh, you know, let me out of here and we'll be rich. I promise. That's illegal, Roger. It's not happening. And we're definitely not friends anymore. Enjoy your life in prison. Okay, now we're all here. Chief James has a couple things to say. Go ahead, Chief. Thank you. I want to start off by thanking each and every one of you for the service you provide to the good citizens of Jailbreak. But we have a big issue on our hands. You all know we have a big homeless issue in our city. You're right, Chief. It's out of control. There's a lot of homeless people in our city, and the majority of them are kids. That's our problem, ladies and gentlemen, so I've come up with a plan that can help a lot of the homeless in our city. So, like, what's the plan, Chief? Uh... I propose that we build a new shelter for them to live, and I don't mean some cheap rundown building. We're gonna build them something new and beautiful, some place they can go and we can help them get back on their feet. Sounds great, Chief, but that's gonna cost a lot of money. I've been saving a lot of money for this cause for years now. I fully intend to pay for it myself. You can't be serious. I'm serious, Kowalski. We begin construction next week. Wow, Chief, that's probably the most generous thing anyone's done in Jailbreak, ever. I feel like this is something I'm meant to do. I'm not looking for thanks or praise. I'm just looking to help the homeless out. Yes, sir. And unless there's anything else, I call this meeting over. Dismissed. Finally, some good is happening in the city. Uh, excuse me, sir? Yes, Kowalski? What is it? We got, like, a call, and it was, like, a 911, and they were, like, they have a robbery in progress. <laughs> they said it's, like, the guy we've been looking for for, like, weeks now. Guess I spoke too soon. Let's go. up we got the place around roger well 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 look who it is roger what are you doing here please don't tell me you're the criminal we've been looking for what does it look like i'm doing here i'm just taking from the rich and giving to the poor that doesn't make me a criminal yes it does you're taking things from good innocent people and just giving them to yourself again <laughs> glad you remember our old plan huh buddy i'm not your friend roger tell me how did you get out of prison all I'm gonna tell you is that I broke out and it's none of your business how I did it. Roger, you know I have to arrest you and bring you back to jail, right? You really gonna do this to me? After everything? Yes, I am. I can't believe you would betray me like this. You and I were brothers, you know. You know better than anyone what it's like on these streets out here. It's no excuse for a life of crime, Roger. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sure you are. Chief, I can't believe we finally got him. He's been on a crime spree for weeks now. Yeah, I'm glad he's off the streets again. You okay, Chief? Not really, Kevin. What's wrong? You've been down in the dumps ever since we took that criminal back to prison. That criminal used to be my friend, and I used to be homeless, just like him. He found me on the streets and gave me a place to stay. Seeing him today, it, 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 it just brings back a lot of memories. I could have ended up just like him. Thankfully, you didn't, James. You made the choice to put your life in a better path. 
And now look at you. You've made something out of your life. You've made an honest living. And now you're the richest guy in all of Jailbreak. That's true. I made my choice, and I guess he made his. True, but you know, people can change. You're right, Kevin. Maybe he'll make the right choice. I hope he can change. Maybe one day. I'll get you, James. If it's the last thing I do, I'll get you. Wow, another day in Jailbreak City. Oh, I wonder what's gonna happen today. Really excited. Hey, boss? Uh, hey. Hey, what's up? Um, we have a situation down at the, uh, the prison. Um, what's the situation? Can it be handled by somebody else? Uh, I think you'll want to handle this, boss. That guy Roger escaped. No, Roger? Oh my gosh, I can't believe him. We need to go search for him now, sir. Look, I'm gonna be honest, Roger's an old friend of mine. I really hate to say that I was once friends with a criminal, but he was different back then. It seems like he's gotten more evil as the years have passed. He's so dangerous now, we have to be careful. He's probably armed and we have no idea what's gonna happen. What's your game plan, boss? We, whatever we do, we need to stop him, like, right now. Yeah, no, I agree. We're gonna have to go down there and figure it out. Also, who's responsible for this? Somebody should have been watching Roger. He's one of the most dangerous criminals we have in the prison. Um, there were a couple of guards on watch, but I have no idea what they were doing, sir. All right, well, look, we're gonna have to reprimand those guards. I mean, this is unacceptable, but wait, I'm getting a call. Um, looks like there's a robbery at the bank? Oh no, we gotta get out of here. We gotta go and stop this robbery. All right, after you, sir, let's go. Roger. You can't tell me what to do. I can tell you what to do when you're committing crimes in my city. What are you doing, Roger? You're supposed to be back in jail. Well, I'm out of jail now. Bada bing, bada boom. You know what I mean? Uh... Look, you're coming back with me. Make me. Roger, don't do this. Don't hurt me. All right, we're friends. Come on. Yeah, we used to be friends, but we're not friends anymore, all right? And I never had a choice, okay? I've always had to do this. Roger, you've always had a choice. You've just made the wrong ones. Yeah, well, it's the choice I made, and I'm gonna live with it now. Roger, you're coming back with me. Put the gun down and step into the car. You're not gonna do anything. Look, I'm gonna get out of here. I'll see you later, fool. Oh, Roger. Man, what happened to you? All right, John, so this is his cabin, or at least it was before he was put in prison. Wow, this place looks really awful. It is awful. And uh, I don't know if I told you this, John, but I used to live with Roger. I was homeless just like he was, and I was left alone, my family left me, and I was an orphan. And Roger was the only person who took me in, and we'd lived together in this cabin for a long time. Wow, really? You used to live here? I'm sorry to hear that, sir. It's okay, it was really important. Sometimes the hard things in life is what make us great. The only problem with Roger is he always saw it as something that brought him down. I used it as inspiration to bring myself back up. Well, that's just proof right there, boss, is that, uh, you know, you, you live with the choices you make in your life. It's true, it's very true. But I gotta say, I really do miss Roger. I mean, I know it sounds strange, but he did a lot for me. He's really the only family I've ever known. So what do we do now, boss? How do we find this guy? I'm not sure. If Roger's not here, he's gotta have another base somewhere. Hmm, <sighs> I'm trying to think. You know what? 
Unlike me, Roger actually has a family. I wonder what happened to them. I wonder why Roger turned out the way that he did. Maybe if I can find his family, I can find out either where Roger is or why he became the way that he did. And this is why you're the chief boss. Good idea. Let's go back to the station and do some research on this guy. Let's find out where his family is. All right, John, that sounds good. Look at all this stuff. Look at all this money. These cars, these, uh, what are these, volt bikes. We got some armor, we got some cash. All this stuff thanks to me. No thanks to that stupid idiot, James. Yeah, you've done a great job, boss. I can't believe this. Look at all this money. We're rich. I never thought I'd be this rich in my life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well, I'm rich. You're rich by, like, you know, association. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I got a lot to learn from you, man. I mean, look at this place. I've never seen anything like it. Yeah, I know. I've never seen anything like it except for in my dreams. And you know what, kid? You gotta make your dreams a reality. You gotta rob some stuff and uh, take what you need, and then eventually you'll have what you want. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, that sounds right, boss. I think you're right. Boss, huh? Hmm, I like the sound of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From now on, you call me boss, all right? All right, sure thing, boss. That's got a good ring to it. <laughs> That's nice. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, yeah. So what what are we going <laughs> to do next? I mean, this is a little bit of money, you know? It's not, you know, we're rich for now, but it's not going to last forever. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, that's for sure. Listen, we got to plan the next robbery, and it's got to be the biggest one in all a jailbreak, all right? And I'm talking, like, jewels. I'm talking, like, expensive coins and collectibles and things like that. And maybe a car, too, you know? I don't know. I'm just spitballing here. What do you that think? That sounds great to me, boss. But what are we going to do about your friend there? My fr Who? My friend? I don't have any friends, all right? You must be talking about that annoying cop. Yeah, what are we going to do about him? Uh -huh. Well, I got a plan for him. We're going to take him down, man. Um, excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Uh, I'm looking for a guy named Clarence. Uh, yes, yes, that's me. My name is Clarence. What can I help you with? Well, Clarence, uh, my name's James. I'm from Jailbreak City. How are you doing today? Uh, I'm doing well. Uh, business is a little slow today, but it's okay. Look, I'm gonna be real with you. I came here on a sort of sensitive matter. Um, I'd like to talk to you about your son, Roger. Um, Roger? Oh, I haven't seen Roger in years. I'm not sure if he's even still alive. Roger ran away when he was just a young boy, and I've I've never heard from him again. Well, um, Roger used to be my friend. Wait, Roger is alive? Oh, this is wonderful news. This is wonderful news. Oh, oh, I can't believe this. Since my wife passed, I haven't had many friends, and I haven't had anyone to talk to. I thought I was going to be alone forever. Well, um, look, Clarence, don't get so happy. Uh, Roger's in a really bad place right now. He's he's kind of a criminal. I'm going to be honest with you. You know, Roger and I were homeless together a long time ago, and, you know, he went one way and I went the other, and now I'm just trying to save Roger's life, to be honest with you. I still think there's some good left inside of him. Oh, thank you so much. Just thank you so much for this news. I can't believe this. I can close up shop here. My house is not that far. Why don't we go to my house and, and we can talk more about this? Uh, all right. Yeah, wow. That sounds great. Thank you so much. Sure, no problem. Whoa, thank you so much, Clarence, for inviting me into your home. Oh, you're very welcome. I'm, s I'm very sorry that it's so messy. Since my wife passed away, I haven't had many visitors. Oh, that's okay. You don't have to explain yourself to me. It's a very wonderful home. Well, no, no worries. I just put some food on over the fire. We'll have dinner very, very soon. But thank you so much for finding my Roger. I can't believe that. Yeah, no, no worries. Actually, Roger kind of found me. He's, he saved my life. Roger saved your life? Wow, I, this is all a lot to take in. I thought Roger was dead for years. No, Roger saved my life when I was homeless, like I said. Him and I lived in this cabin out in the woods, and Roger tried to teach me how to make money, but unfortunately, Roger's only way to make money was through crime. Oh, that's so disappointing to hear. Can I ask you something? Yes, anything. What happened to Roger? I mean, you seem like a really nice guy, and... You know, I know your house isn't the fanciest or whatever, but it seems like a really great place to live. 
Oh, Roger. Oh, I loved Roger very much. So, so much. He was my only son. And when he was younger, he was such a good boy. We would hang out and we would play baseball together and he would help me at the diner. But as soon as he got older and started meeting new friends, things went off the rails. Oh, really? What, what happened with his new friends? Well, Roger just started hanging out with some bad kids. And these kids were... You know, they were just disrespectful and rude, and Roger even got arrested once for spray painting a building. It was awful. Oh, that definitely sounds a little bit more like the Roger I know. Yeah, well, it wasn't the Roger that I knew. Roger was such a great kid when he was growing up. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm getting a little emotional. No, no, it's okay, I totally understand. Oh, okay. Well, we tried to get Roger some help. We had counselors and, you know, we, we asked him anything that he needs we would help him out with. But, you know, one day Roger and I got into a fight and Roger just ran away. <laughs> oh, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, I totally understand. So Roger just ran away from this life, huh? Yes, yes, Roger, Roger had a good life. Well, look, I believe that Roger still has that good inside of him. We just have to figure out a way to show him that he still has good inside of him. Well, that sounds great, because it hurts me every day to know that I love my son so much, and my son hates me. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna try to save your son. Look, I, I think you should come back to Jailbreak City with me. I know it's getting late now, but I got a country house about halfway there. We could stop and stay over there for the night, and then we could go find Roger. Oh, wow, that sounds great. All right, let's go. Boss, I can't find this guy anywhere. Are you sure this is where he lives? Yeah, I'm sure this is where he lives. Oh, oh man, I really thought I was gonna get him this time. Yeah, I was hoping to. I mean, this is a nice place anyway, you know? Yeah, it's pretty nice, but, uh, you know, this guy got his money from, uh, doing stupid stuff, like following the rules and, like, doing homework and yeah, stuff. Yeah, sounds like a real idiot. Oh, this guy's stupid, trust me. This guy's the stupidest man in jail break. how you know this guy anyway this is the guy that arrested you right oh yeah this guy's had it out for me for a while now you know and uh i knew this guy for a long time and he turned on me there ain't nothing worse than that there's nothing worse than that well hey uh i don't know what's the next plan then if he ain't here where do you think he's gonna be well i know he's got like a house out in the country because this guy's like really loaded so uh we could always check that place out yeah, that sounds good what a fancy pants huh Gets his own house here, he's got a house in the country. Who does this guy think he is, huh? I don't know, he thinks he's some kind of Vanderbilt or something with a lot of money and stuff. Either way, I don't want to think about it. I just want to take this guy out, all yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, well, hey, hey, look, look, we already broke into this place, right? I mean, there's fancy stuff all around, everywhere, right? Why don't we call our crew, we have the guys come over, you know, maybe they take a few things, load up the truck, and then me and you can head over, and we can try to find this stupid country house, you know what I mean? Yeah, you know what? I like the way you think, man. I like the way you think a lot. Alright, let's do that. Call some people, get everything out of this apartment. I want everything valuable, alright? Yeah, that sounds great, boss. We'll rob this guy blind, and then we'll go get him in the country. Ah, uh, such an idiot. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh, thank you so much, James. Your house is beautiful. Oh, no problem, Clarence. I'm glad that you like it. I mean, I always wanted to take Roger here, like I said, but Roger ended up becoming a criminal before he found out that I got rich. Well, it's a shame. I'm really hoping that we can change his mind. I mean, I think Roger is still a good boy at heart. I think so, too. Oh, I'm so sorry for the way that I treated him. I, I mean, I, I, there should have been a way that I could have done more or something. Look, Clarence, I think you did a good job. I think Roger just was hanging out with some bad people and made some bad decisions. That's all. Well, as long as you think that Roger will want to talk to me again, I think that would be great. Well, yeah, I mean, I don't see why he wouldn't want to talk to you. I mean, I think we're going to just have to do some really hard work and try to change Roger for the better. Oh, thank you so much, James. Thank you so much. All right, well, look, sun's going to go down soon. We got a long way back to jailbreak tomorrow. Why don't you go upstairs, relax in your room, get some sleep for the night, and then we'll pick it up tomorrow. Oh, that sounds great. What was that? Oh, these these guys look expensive. Uh, I'm gonna steal these paintings now. Roger? 
Hey, it's Roger. <laughs> what is it? Hey, wait a second. Clarence, what are you doing here? Roger, I've missed you so much. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that you're back in my life. I thought you were dead. Yeah, and I thought you would be dead by now and I'd be free of yous. Wait, why would you want to be free of me, Roger? I love you. All I've ever wanted to do is take care of you. Yeah, yeah, that's what you always say, but I know the truth. You don't really care. You only care about your restaurant and things like that. That's not true, Roger. All I ever wanted was to work hard to take care of you. And this is how you've repaid me? I can't believe I'm seeing you here in person again. This is ridiculous. Look, Roger, I, I went to find your dad because we both think that there's still good inside of you, okay? You can be like us, you can be successful, and you can have a good life if you just stop with the crimes. There's no good in me, you know nothing about me. Neither of you two really know who I really am. We both know who you are. I knew you, I know you, and Clarence knows you. Yeah, well Clarence knows nothing but his restaurant, and he cares about that stuff and his money. So that's what he taught me. I care about my money and that's it. You learned the wrong lesson. All I've cared about was making money to take care of you, and doing it the right way. How could you do this? How could you do this to me and your mom? God rest her soul. Yeah, you know what? Mom died, and that was awful, and you ruined everything, and I'm sick and tired. You know what? I can't even handle looking at you. I gotta go. I hate the two of you so much. Come out! I know you're in there! I'm out of here, loser! Oh no, he's getting away! Roger, get back here! Hey, Chief. How are you feeling? Oh, I'm feeling a lot better. I had a really bad concussion, though. It's gonna take me a little while until I'm back to normal. Wow. Well, me and the rest of the guys on the force are just so happy that you're back. Oh. You're okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. I mean, it could have been a lot worse. I can't believe I let Roger get away. Don't worry about it, boss. We'll find him soon. Yeah, I, I don't know. It seems like he's gotten worse ever since me and his dad spoke to him. Maybe that brought up just a whole lot of bad feelings, and, uh, maybe this guy's just acting out now. I don't know. I don't know what Roger's problem is. It's, it's like I don't even know him anymore. Well, I've heard that people can change, you know? So, maybe this guy really isn't the guy you used to know. Yeah, you're probably right. Maybe I'm just living in the past. But we need to find him. I mean, we can't let him get away with this stuff. No, we can't. Although, we kind of did, sir. Wait. You don't know where he is? No, he ran off and uh, we completely lost track of him, sir. Oh, this isn't good. We gotta find him. Right, but where do we start? Oh, uh, man, I don't know. I don't know. Look, I'm gonna get checked out of here in like a day or two. So as soon as I'm better, that's gonna be our number one priority. We need to find Roger and we need to find him fast. Boss! Yeah, what is it? I just can't believe we finally did it. I mean, we're getting robberies all over the city and nobody's been able to catch us. <laughs> yeah, we've been one step ahead of that no goody two shoes James. Yeah, I can't believe that guy. That guy's the worst. I can believe it because I know him personally. That man is nothing but garbage. I can't believe how much money we've made. I mean, this is crazy. Yeah, we made plenty. Uh, I made most of it, and you made a little, you know, because that's, uh, that's how much you get for your cut. Yeah, well, look, boss, what do we do next? I've been thinking, and I've been thinking about this for a long time now, maybe like two, three days. But what I'm thinking is we pull off the biggest robbery in all a jailbreak. Oh, wow, that sounds great. Oh, man, can I help? Can I be like the head of the robbery or something? 
Uh, I'm the head of the robbery because I'm the boss. So, uh, if you want to work on it, I guess that's all right. All right, well, what are we going to rob? We've already robbed the museum and the train and everything. Really, we've robbed everything. What are we going to do next? <laughs> We're going to do what no one's done before. We're going to rob the police station. Whoa, but what about your friend James? My friend? I ain't got no friend. Listen, we're gonna rob the police station and we're gonna shut them down for good. James! James! Oh, hey Clarence, how are you, man? Oh, I'm doing okay, how are you? Oh, I'm feeling a lot better, thanks for coming to visit me, that was a really bad accident. I'm just so sorry that Roger caused that accident, I can't believe that he would do such a thing. Oh, don't worry about Roger, man, I mean, we all know what's going on with him. Yeah, but I just can't believe that my son still hates me. He doesn't hate you, Clarence, I mean, he says that he does, but he definitely doesn't hate you. I mean... Roger's just going through something weird right now. Well, I hope that he's okay. Yeah, I mean, we all hope that he's okay, but unfortunately, Clarence, you have to come to grips with the fact that your son is a criminal. Yes, I know. I know that he's a criminal. I'm so ashamed. Where did I go wrong as a dad? I don't think he went wrong anywhere. I think Roger just made some bad decisions, that's all. That's true, James. I mean, you guys were both in the same position, and he chose not to do the right thing. Yeah, that's right, and that's why he's basically homeless, and he's committing crimes, and I have all the things that I have. You're a smart boy. I wish that some of it would rub off on Roger. Oh, well, thanks. I really appreciate that. Yeah, well, I think that we need to go out and find Roger. As much as I hate to say it, I think jail might be the best thing for him. He needs to get his life together. Don't worry, we're gonna find him and we're gonna put a stop to all of his crimes. Alright, now's the time. I gotta get in here. Why won't this stupid glass break? I thought it'd be easier breaking into this little police station. Wow. You couldn't break your way into a paper bag. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, great. Uh, who are you again? I'm the boss. Oh, you the boss. Okay, that's funny because, uh, I'm pretty sure I'm the boss here. Like, this is my city. <laughs> you ignorant little child. This city belongs to me. Oh, yeah, then why have I never seen you here before? I prefer... Yeah, yeah, okay, you sounded, uh, real creepy, but, uh, listen, this is my place, this is my, uh, crime here, so, uh, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. Why don't you make me? Whew, this guy is tougher than I thought. I gotta get out of here fast. <laughs> That's it. Run, baby, run. <laughs> so this is the scene of the crime, huh? That's right, sir. The assailant came and started to attack the window. Oh, Roger. What was he trying to do? This is so weird. Why would he break into the police station? I don't know, but he has to have a lot of courage in order to want to break into the police station, sir. Yeah, either courage or stupidity. I'm not sure which one is which. But either way, we got to stop him. The other thing that I read in the report, though, is there was some sort of gun exchange, some sort of gunfire exchange. That's right, sir. There was another um, suspect. He referred to himself as the boss. The boss? Oh my gosh, this must be some sort of power play for the city. Does that mean that there's a new criminal boss in jailbreak? That's my assumption, sir, although I'm not 100%. Oh, this isn't good. I mean, we have Roger that we have to worry about, and now we have somebody else? Do you know anything about this guy? Our records are pretty empty on anyone with the alias known as the boss, sir. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I know that name. This was like a legend way back in the day when I was going through training. They talked about this really evil, powerful guy called the Boss. And what did he look like? Did he have like, did he almost look like a guest? Almost. He was mostly wearing a hood. Oh my gosh, it can't be. I can't believe this is real. I, I, I thought it was just a legend. If this is really who we think it is, we're in a lot of trouble. Boss, boss, what are you doing back? Uh, I, I can't, had to come back a little, uh, earlier than planned. 
Why? What happened? Did you get caught? Of course I didn't get caught. I'm still here, aren't I? Yeah, well, that's true. Did, did, uh, did your boy James show up? Uh, no. James did not show up. But, uh, someone else did. Really? Who's that? I don't know. Never seen the guy in my life. I, uh, I think he said his name was The Boss or something? Wait, wait, wait. The Boss? Yeah, he was, uh, he was in a hood. He had, uh, this really pale skin and, uh, you know, sunglasses. He kind of looked uh, a little tough. Oh, no, this isn't good. This is not good at all. You know about The Boss, right? No, I don't know about no boss but myself. I'm the boss. Well, well, yeah, yeah, you're, you're, you're my boss, but look, uh, this guy is really dangerous, okay? You just gotta be really careful. What do you, uh, what do you know about this guy? Look, all I know is that this guy has been causing trouble all over Roblox. No criminal gang's been able to defeat him yet. So, uh, this guy is some kind of, like, magic or something, or what? I don't know what his deal is, but all I know is that he's super powerful. Well, uh, listen, we only got a couple of us guys to, you know, take him on. You think that's enough? No, I don't think so at all. He has an entire army. An army? What? What is this guy? What do, What am I supposed to do now? I mean, I'm not, I'm not sure, boss. Uh, I don't want to give up. I mean, we've, we've done so many great things here, you know? Yeah, yeah, I know. We've stolen a lot of money, a lot of vehicles, a lot of jewels and gold and stuff, and, uh... I like where this is going, and I don't want to stop, so I think we might need some help here. Criminals, come on out with your hands up! I've had enough of this! You're going to jail! Oh, are you looking for me? Who are you? I'm the boss. The boss? Wait, I've heard of you. I thought you were just a legend. <laughs> the man, the myth the legend here in person. Well, look, you're coming with me. Mm, I don't think so. Not today. What are you doing in jailbreak? What do you want from us? <laughs> to take over the city, of course. You're not going to take over this city. This is my city. This is my town. And I've worked hard to protect it. That's what you think. That's what I know, boss, okay? Look. Look, I've had enough of this, okay? I've had a long day. You're coming to jail. I'm not going to jail today, friend. I just want to come by and introduce myself. Introduce yourself? I don't need to know you. Well, you should. Are you working with Roger? <laughs> that fool, please. He's nothing compared to me. Look, I've had enough of this. There's no more criminals in this city. Come with me now, or you're gonna have big trouble. Then big trouble it is, then. Do me a favor. Try and find me again sometime. <laughs> Wait, where did he go? Oh no, this is not good. We have to figure out a way to stop this boss. Alright Frank, I've done some more research on this boss, and it turns out that you were right. I was right? About what, exactly? About this guy being one of the most powerful people in all of Jailbreak. Oh, that's not good. That's not a good thing to be right about. No, I wish you were wrong for once, but unfortunately you're a great cop and you're not wrong about anything, really. Hey, thanks boss, that means a lot. So, what should we do about this new criminal? This, the boss should be considered armed and dangerous. He's super, super aggressive, and he's going to start committing more crimes all around the city. What we have to do is keep an eye out for him. We have to make sure that we anticipate all of his moves so that we can get there before he does. And what about this uh, other criminal you've got going on here? What was his name? Roger? Oh, Roger. Oh, no. Forgot about Roger. Well, Roger is a really bad criminal. But I don't think he's a bad person. Like I said, Roger used to be my friend. And he's no match for this boss. Well, if he's no match for the boss, and he's been giving us such a hard time, don't you, like, think this is really not gonna go well for us? Well, it's never stopped me before. The odds have always been against me, Frank. And I've never stopped fighting because I believe in good. And I want to make sure that there's no criminals left in jailbreak. So, we need to take out this boss and Roger, both together at the same time? 
The boss is our number one priority because he seems like he's the most dangerous, but if we can find Roger in the meantime, that would be great. I'm really worried about Roger, to be honest with you. I mean, if there's a new boss in town, there could be a war on our hands. A criminal war? That sounds awful. It'll tear the city apart. You're right, Frank. We gotta stop them. What was that? Roger? Well, uh, look who it is. <laughs> yeah, it's me, Roger. Roger, put your hands up. You're coming with me. Hey, hey, listen. No need for hostilities here, all right? I, uh, I came with good intention. Roger, I, d I don't think you ever have good intentions anymore. I don't even know you anymore. Listen, uh, a couple of things may have gotten, you know, misconfused and things like that. But really, really, I come in peace, all right? I came to talk. All right, Roger, what do you want? Say what you have to say. Listen, you know about this guy, the boss, right? Yeah, I've heard about him. So what? What's it to you? Listen, he's a bit too powerful for me. He's a... He's a real scary guy, alright? Yeah, he is scary. He's probably the worst criminal in the world. Even worse than you, Roger. Actually, I kind of take that as a compliment. So, thank you, but also you're right. He's definitely way worse than me. So what are you doing here, then? I, uh... I can't believe I'm about to say this, but, uh... Listen, dude, I need your help. You need my help? Why? I think if you and me work together, we can actually stop this guy, you know? You got the law on your side, I'm I'm a pretty good criminal, so I know how the man tanks, you know? Wait, so we would team up again? Like, like friends? Yeah, you know, like old times, you know, Roger and James, back at it again. <laughs> so what do you say, kid? I say it's time we take down the boss. <laughs> Come out with your hands up! <laughs> when are you going to learn that you are not in control? This is my city and you better get used to it. You're wrong. This city is mine. <laughs> Chief, you're all right. What happened? Oh, hey, thanks for showing up, man. I really appreciate it. Well, the boss was at it again, and we got into a shootout, and... Man, that guy is a lot more powerful than I thought. Yeah, it seems like it. He was robbing the donut shop? So all this was over donuts? Yeah, apparently. I think it's just a really weird thing for him to rob. I think it's like a power trip or something. This guy just wants to commit as many crimes as he can. He feels like he's untouchable. Oh, this is not good, Chief. I don't know if there's anything we can do to stop him. I don't know either. I've never seen a criminal this dangerous. I mean, I thought Roger was bad, but... Man, this guy is just out of control. So, what do you think, sir? What should we do now? Well, I'm not sure. We're definitely not going to be able to take care of this guy on our own. We're going to have to think of something really clever because... I have a really bad feeling about this. Have you gotten any information out of any of the criminals that you've arrested recently? No, sir. I haven't heard anything. Oh, man, that's disappointing. Well, we'll make sure you interrogate them the best that you can. And in the meantime, I think I've got an idea, but I'm just going to need some time. Okay, Chief. I'll head back to the station and get started. You rest up and get better. All right, you know the drill. Give me all your money. Roger, stop it! Oh, right, yeah, sorry, listen, old habits die hard, you know? Yeah, look, Roger, man, if you're gonna be working with me, you need to stop being a criminal. Alright, that's a little, little easier to say than it is to do, you know, but I'll, I'll try, man. Well, look, if we're gonna defeat the boss, we have to do this together. Alright, this guy's really powerful, I don't know if we're gonna even be able to stop him. I think... We can stop him together, but we just gotta get close to him, you know? Yeah, but how are we supposed to get close to him? I mean, I'm a cop. The boss is not gonna let me anywhere near him. The only way I see this happening is, uh, if I surrender to him. Wait, Roger, that's so dangerous. 
if you surrender to him, I mean, I don't know, you could get really hurt. Yeah, I could. But uh, here's the other thing, you know, I'm a really good criminal and that boss isn't going to let me just pass by without joining his gang, you know what I mean? Yeah, that makes sense. But so you're going to become even more of a criminal? How is it going to work? No, no, no. You're starting to get confused, all right? I'm going to infiltrate his gang and then we're going to destroy him from the inside out, you know? You know what? That's actually a really, really good idea. Man, yeah, you should definitely do that. Hey, thanks. You know, I, I got a couple other good ideas. One about a uh, taco chain, but we'll talk about that later. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm too busy for that right now, Roger. But look, be careful, okay? And don't commit any crimes. We need to make sure that we're on the up and up. All right, I'll try. I mean, easier said than done, but I'm going to give it a try, all right? All right, sounds good. Well, well, look who it is. Come back for more, have you, huh? Hey, uh, no, listen, uh, I, I came here in a, in a weird sort of way. Weird how? Well, uh, I come in peace? I think that's what they say? Yeah, 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 I come, I come in peace. Uh, okay, sure. Listen, uh, I gotta, I gotta talk to you about something. Okay, what do you need to talk to me about? This is ridiculous listen i know i can't defeat you on my own all right i know you listen you're pretty powerful you got a, i'm looking around here you got like a lot of stuff and uh listen uh i think we might should be you know maybe uh working together at this thing oh really seems like you're finally coming to your senses yeah you know i i know i can't beat you so i might as well join you or something i think that's like the name of the game here you know yeah that sounds great. So, uh, all right, great. Uh, you'll let me join you and like, we'll hang out and we'll commit like robberies and get like lots of money and stuff. Yeah, yeah, of course. But you need to be tested first. Tested? What do you, what do you mean test? I don't, I don't do math tests or anything like that, all right? It's not a math test. Listen, I need you to join my associate and go and uh, commit a couple robberies and bring me back the money. It's pretty simple, isn't it? Yeah, that's pretty simple. You know, I can wake up and do that in like two, three minutes. Great. Yeah, great. Now go and uh, join my associate and make sure you bring me back the money. If you do, I'll let you join my gang. All right, great. Listen, uh, I won't let you down. Promise. Roger, what are you doing? You know, I'm robbing the bank, James. Gosh. Roger, what did I say? No crimes. You can't be robbing the bank. I can't work with a criminal. I'm the chief of police. I'm the richest person in jailbreak. I can't be associated with somebody who's robbing the bank. Listen, dude, I got to do this stuff, all right? I got a plan going on here, all right? I have to rob the bank for the boss to trust me. Ah, <sighs> jeez, Roger. Don't make me regret trusting you. You won't regret it, believe me. But listen, there's another guy I was robbing this place with. Uh, if he's over there, you gotta go arrest him, dude. All right, look, that's the deal, Roger. You get one crime that I'm not gonna bust you for, but if you do this again, man, my hands are tied. Hey, promise, promise, I won't do it again, all right? I gotta go back to that boss, though. All right, fine. I'm gonna go arrest this guy, and don't let me see you around here again, okay? Let's meet later on at the old cabin, and you can give me the information you're getting from the boss. All right, all right, sounds good. I'll meet you there. Go get this guy. All right, see you later. Roger, what happened? Well, uh, your friend there, he got a he got a caught, you know, and we uh we got in a little bit of trouble, but I got your money. Yeah, you got the money. Oh, good. But what happened? That stupid cop James came and he ruined the whole thing, man. 
he uh, he chased after us, and then we split up, and he went after that guy, you know? Yeah, I know. And now he's caught and in prison. But I'm proud of you for bringing me the money. Yeah, you know, uh, I had to do whatever I could, you know? Uh, I really want to be part of this uh, whole gang thing, you know? Yeah, I know. Well, you succeeded this time. You mean uh, I'm part of the gang now? I'll let you in for now. Oh, good, good. Excellent, excellent. So, uh, what, what do we do about that other guy? Well, he's in prison. He'll figure himself out. I'll deal with him later. Oh, okay. All right. So, uh, so what's the big plan here? What are we, what's, what's the next big move, boss? There's a war coming, Roger. A new war. And we must be prepared. Roger! Oh, well, there he is. About time you showed yeah, up. Yeah, look, sorry I was late. I got stuck at work. Some serious stuff going on right now. Yeah, yeah. Well, I got something super serious that we need to talk about. Yeah, how's dude. everything going with the boss? Uh, it's going well, but that's not actually a good thing, okay? Okay, what do you mean? The boss is way more powerful than I ever thought. I mean, this guy is crazy, okay? He plans on harnessing the energy of a volcano and making a super weapon with it. Oh, wow. That's not good. Well, where's this weapon? Maybe we can stop him. Well, uh, I don't know where the weapon is, but he's supposed to take me to the volcano tomorrow night. And, uh, I think you need to be there because I think that's where he's Yeah, that would be great. Um, how do I get there? Do you have the information? Listen, I'll, uh, I'll text you the GPS coordinates, all right? But, uh, make sure you come alone because the boss might get suspicious and... We don't need this going bad. All right, that sounds good, Roger. And, uh, man, it feels kind of weird being back here, huh? We had some good times. Yeah, we did. A couple, uh, two, three times that were really nice, you know? Yeah, and, and look, Roger, you know, about all the stuff that happened before between us, I'm, I'm just really glad that we're friends again. I've really missed you, man. Yeah, all right. Listen, let's not get too mushy on this, okay? It'll only make me cry or something. Gosh. All right, listen. You gotta go and get all ready. Right. That sounds good. Thank you so much, Roger. I'll see you tomorrow night. Hey, boss. Roger. How did everything go? Easy peasy lemon squeezy, boss. James doesn't know a thing, and he's on his way. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. Roger, I'm proud of you. Wow, I don't hear a lot of people say that to me at all, so that's nice. Yes, you're turning into quite a fine criminal. <laughs> so, uh, so what are we gonna do with James, boss? Are we, uh, we gonna, we gonna hurt him or what? Oh, yes, we'll hurt him, all right. <laughs> Do we, uh, do we have to? What do you, what? What do you mean, do we have to? You know, I was just thinking, you know, he might be just a, a waste of ammunition or something, you know? Waste of, uh, resources. Because he's not really worth it. Of course he's not worth it, but we need him out of the way. Yes, uh, you're all right, you're right, boss, you're right. Soon we will have the ability to unleash the new weapon. And that weapon will destroy all of Roblox. Yeah, boss, I love that idea. It's, it's a fantastic idea. Yes, and because you've been doing so well, I think I'll leave Jailbreak City to you. Wait, uh, you, you serious? Yes. With Roblox under my control, I'll need you to run Jailbreak while I'm away. Got it? Yeah, that's, uh, that's great, boss. Wow, thank you so, so much. Don't mention it. Now, let's prepare. I can't believe this place. This is crazy. I didn't even know they had volcanoes in Jailbreak. Well, they do. <laughs> and it's all mine. Whoa, what are you doing here? I just said it. This is my volcano. Look, I've had enough of you. All right, you're coming to jail with me. This is done. You're not doing any more crimes. It's just me and you up here, and you're coming back with me. You're right. It is just you and me up here. But it is not me that's done. It's you. You're done. Wait a minute, where's Roger? <laughs> you honestly think that Roger's going to side with you? He's mine now. Wait, 
So he's really been working for you? This wasn't a trick? Of course he has. This has all been set up for your demise. No! How could Roger do this to me? This is so messed up, I thought we were finally friends again! Who would want to be friends with you? A lot, a lot of people would want to be my friend. I'm a good person, unlike you. Being good is so boring. I'm getting sick of this. Tell me, do you have any last words? Um, uh, wow, I can't believe that it's really gonna end like this. Just tell Roger that no matter what happens, he was still my best friend. It's over now. Say goodbye. No! Oh! Roger! 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 Oh my gosh, I can't believe Roger's gone! And he saved my life! Oh man!